hey guys welcome on my youtube channel everything technical this is deepak so in this video we will see how we can execute a command in queries in multiple multiple remote servers using jenkins so we will see those what we have to configure and how we we have to do that so we'll see in this video okay so before i started i want you to please do subscribe my youtube channel this is my channel everything technical so please do subscribe and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification and if you have any query any suggestion related to the video so please do comment below the video so let's start with the video okay so now here i have a jankin i'll have to take the excess of my jankins okay so i'll take the excess okay so here i have taken the excess of my jankin server so you can see this is the jankin servers of ip okay so what you have to do first first go to the manage jankins into the manage jankins you will get the option for configure system go to the configure system inside the configure system you will get the option here public over ssh so if you don't know how to configure like i have already configured this so if you don't know how to configure this so please watch my previous videos about jenkins in that i have already uh, explained about how to configure this what we have to put how we have to configure so i have already configured it and now here where we have to go go to the ssh servers so inside the SSS servers we will get this option and if you don't have so you can add you can add multiple so if you want to add and if you if you want to run uh, same command in multiple if you want to perform any task in multiple remote servers so just add all these servers one by one add 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 so here I have configured just one server so SSH servers here you can put any name so I have given the name as a test host name will be your IP address uh, if you are using any domain name so ju just put that domain name as well username the username what you want to put that by which user you want to take the access so put the username remote directory keep it empty right now go to the advanced option in advanced here you will get the option for click and unclick like tick and check and uncheck so what do you want to do that so here I have a passphrase password if you are using uh, keyless keyless servers like if you are taking access without key like using username and password so just put the password here and if you are using any cloud base that is uh, about the key file if you are taking any server access by key so just give the path and put that key in into this location either you can put the change the location under the Jenkins home directory just put that key into the Jenkins home directory and you can give the path of that key and after that just configure the port number on which port you are just connecting that server remote server and after that nothing to do just test the configuration once if it is success that means all configuration above all configuration is good so now I have connected with this so what I have to do go to apply and save I have saved this now what do you have to do go to the new item in new item I'll just put name as a test freestyle project I'll go click and OK so once I'll do OK I'll get this option so I'm not just putting anything here go down the side in build option here you will get the option here send file or execute command over SSH so here this so name as a test as last what you have configured in configure system so that you will get and just leave this blank for now put the command what command you want to use execute into the remote I'll, I'm just going to execute host name sorry host name and I just want to install one package so sudo yum install vsftpd hyphen y I'll use this command I just want to perform this ta two task into the remote so I'll go ahead and I'll apply and save okay now this project is saved what next I just want to make sure I just want to use this command host name so here I get the output as a host name so here is my host name and now I just want to I just want to check psef pipe grab vs ftpd 
so one more rpm hyphen qa pipe crap vsftpd so there is no package so i just want to install i just want to install vsf uh, vsftpd service and i just want to check this okay so what we have to do i'll just go to the jenkins here i have jenkins now what i'll do i'll go ahead and i'll click on build now so once i'll click build now what's going on nothing i'll go here so it is like it is saying success i'll go to the console output into the console output everything i'll get so what was the command first command my host name i check the command as a host name so i got the host name so i'll just verify it is working properly or not in remote or so here a remote is 3185.64 3185.64 is it to internal yeah you can see the same output i got it and after that i just uh, use the command to install the bsftpd so pa package so it is also installed now i have to verify this also so i'll go ahead in this and i'll use the command before this there was no vsftpd now it is here i have installed the vsftpd so how you can use how what you have to configure in your jenkins to execute the command so you can do using the same configuration nothing you have to change there is many more options as well how you can execute how you can uh, like execute the command into multiple servers there is many uh, one more option that i what i used in my past so that i know there can be a many more options so i used to be this time and next time i'll show that also how we can configure that uh, that things into the server and into the for the job build and everything so this is what I, when you'll click when you'll build that time only this will run you can also uh, set the cron as well you can yeah you can set the cron to run it on any specific time so that will also work so here this is the video if you like my videos please like the video do comment below the video if you have any suggestion if you want anything if you uh, if you are facing any problem so just do comment below the video and please please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel please do subscribe also thank you for watching